What's up guys, it's Jainsec here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison between the Pixel Launcher and the Google Now Launcher. So yeah guys, I just wanted to go ahead and show you this. I thought, you know, you probably enjoyed this. So we got two apps thing here. So we got our Google Now Launcher here and we have our, no, Google Launcher here and Google Pixel Launcher here. So first things first, you can see some differences here. Like for one, you have a different Google thing going on here. You just have a little pill shape button here. You just go ahead and tap it and you get your thing here. And on the Google Now Launcher, you just got a whole bar. Another thing you see here is this is not removable on here. It, no, it's not even removable on here, but skipping that then we have our weather here You just get a little weather thing that will show here rather you, you don't get nothing here You don't get a weather thing on here. So that's that so I mean we got some differences there But if you swipe over to the side, you'll see that you get this here You get the whole Google thing here and you don't get it on here You get it on the Google phone, but not in here something else kind of weird is if you go on if looking here This is the Google now launcher here. So look at the notification you can't even see it in this white background. I don't know why they did that, but well, I don't, I don't know. So I mean, that's that. It's cool and all, but really, it's just I don't, I don't get that, and you don't get it on here, which is kind of also weird. And you also get a different folder style here. So you see, you have this little stack thing here, and you have just it sitting right here. So the whole folder itself looks the same. But so another thing here you see is uh, you see here, right? You see this arrow. You don't see an arrow here. That's because you have to tap it on here like you always could but on here you have to swipe up. So actually while we're in the app drawer, let's go ahead and see here. So we have a search apps button, it's in a different style, but I mean, it does the same thing, just look, I don't know why I keep tapping these apps. So just go ahead and do that. You can look up anything you want, like Facebook. So Faye, and then there you go, you got Facebook. They so got your search for more apps button here and here, except this is centered and this is over to the left. So I mean, it's a little tweak, but you know, it's that. So what else you see here is you get the same old app recommendations here and you have the same old slider here. So I mean, it's the same thing, but on the app drawer here, it actually fills up the whole screen, even the notifications here, you can see it's in this little white thing here and you can see it's still showing kind of the home screen on here and what else is on here is Google changed their app icon so you got circular icon icons on here and I don't have the Google thing here but it's not gonna show it's gonna show the regular thing without the little background but that shouldn't be the only app on here I think there's more apps on here maybe I have to download it so it could show but I don't no. So on the app drawer, I, I kind of like the Google Now Launcher one more because I mean it looks more like it's polished and whatnot, and here it's just like look like a rough finish or something like that. I mean the launcher isn't really new, like well it is new, but it's not really. It didn't have time to you know develop more. But other than that, I mean you have pretty much the same thing going on here, same old thing, same old launcher made by the same old people. It's just I mean it's it's worth kind of an upgrade, but not really that much. I mean, if you had to pay for it, then, you know, that definitely would not be worth it. But since it's free, get on the internet on other Google devices, then. So, I mean, like I said, it's not that much of a difference going on here. It's just same old stuff. But if you hold on here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show you something. So the screens here are the same, but if you go into the wallpaper section, take a look at this. So you have a whole different UI in the wallpaper section. I mean, I think this might have been the one from KitKat still, like Android KitKat. Kit. So it's kind of a thing going on there. I don't know why, but so on here you can select the wallpaper like your on device wallpapers, you get earth, landscapes, stuff like that. But on here you only get the wallpapers that come with the launcher and that come with the phone and some live wallpapers here. So kind of sucks, but I mean you still get live wallpapers on here, just not a lot of people use them. Not just even look at iOS. They don't even use those on there. And I hear I got a daily wallpaper set, so it actually shows wallpaper every single day. So that's a cool feature feature there but like I say you don't get on here you get your photos here you get you know some pictures you got but that's it for really the wallpaper section I mean let me get out of here settings widgets everything is kind of the same I mean look at the widget section it's the same thing but going into settings I think that changed a little bit so if you go into settings here you have all of your other Google settings here but only you get your launcher settings here. So on here you have your app suggestions. All of the launcher stuff is down here. So you have your app suggestions. That's both right here. You have your Google app 
thing you don't get that here allow home screen rotation you you know that's also there but on the belt that shows the google app i think mm, not sure i mean that was really it for some differences between the pixel launcher and the google now launcher this is on the play store this is not on the play store because it's specific to the google pixel but people found a workaround that you can actually get it on other android devices so i mean it's pretty simple just hit the google button here look up pixel launcher apk now what you do is you scroll down it's on the play store but it's not gonna show it on here it's gonna show but it's gonna say it's not compatible so apk mirror got it so you just look up actually you could type in apk mirror instead of just apk and then just go from there so what you do from there is you go ahead and hit pixel launcher wait for it to load you go ahead and choose the latest version and then you can go ahead and install it that way so that's kind of different but you know that's the thing right now so who knows they might update the google now launcher to look like this hopefully they do but that was about it guys so thanks for watching subscribe for videos like this hit that thumbs up button if you like this follow me on social media at jennyssec for instagram and twitter and facebook look up Jennings tech i've been a lot more active on this Instagram, as you can probably see if you've been following me already but facebook and twitter i need to take care of that so i just want to put that out there but yeah guys that was about it so i'll see you in the next one peace out